In the last hour, the seventh named storm of the year developed in the Atlantic. Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr is tracking the tropics and joins us now with the latest. Mark? And his name is Gaston. Hopefully he's going to be a fish storm, but likely it's going to become a hurricane within 36 hours. So here is a look. We've got Fiona, a weak tropical depression, probably losing its tropical characteristics within about 48 hours. We have Invest 99L, now a 60% chance of tropical development and there is Gaston. Now here's the deal. Gaston kind of bumping into some dry air. So is Invest 99L and then up here Fiona is dealing with an upper level low. But Gaston is getting to be pretty good looking. It's got some good banding going on, a real flare up of convection moving over warm water. So again it's going to be a hurricane likely within 36 hours. And here we are looking at Fiona, but it's kind of hard to see anything going on. Little flare up of activity recently, and we have had a flare up of activity with Invest 99L. It's moving to the west, heading towards the Lesser Antilles, and right now it's over warm water. That's the one I'm most concerned with. So we can look at Gaston forecast to become a hurricane and then move into the north central Atlantic. The reason a weakness in an area of high pressure. Here is a look at Fiona and it's forecast again to be that remnant low within 48 hours kind of drifting off to the west. And then we can look at Invest 99L brings it into the Bahamas by this weekend. Now this is our forecast model. There you can see Gaston moving on up into the north into this weakness in the high pressure ridge. There is a look at Invest 99L. So we're going to have high pressure to the north, a weak frontal boundary that starts and the question is, will we have upper level winds that will take it to the northeast or will this high pressure take over and take it more to the west? Stay tuned. We'll keep you posted. We